Now, for more on this, uh, Jermaine Sanwulu joins us, and he's an expert on African politics. Thanks so much for joining us, Jermaine. Now, over the years, many have been critical of Glakama mixing guerrilla warfare with opposition politics. So, ultimately, the question is, what legacy does he leave behind? Oh, thanks a lot for having me um, this evening. Um, his legacy um, is one that is mixed, so to say. For 39 years, he has been fighting for what he believed was for freedom um, from corruption, freedom from oppression, and that communist government um, that was um, actually um, ruling um, Mozambique after the independence in 1972 from the Portuguese. So what has been happening in um, Mozambique, um, his legacy would be one that he has been a rebel leader. He has, he, as he calls himself, he is a voice um, for the poor. But people will question many of his tactics because he started off as a guerrilla um, warfare rebel leader and moved on to having the political party which we know as as Renamo right now, which um, fought the civil war and which also tried to ensure that um, what he believed was the people's right was actually established um, against the one party state government um, which was which has been in power since independence called Filimo. So his legacy is mixed, um, but he would like to be remembered as a freedom fighter. Okay. And Jermaine, uh, tell us, what effect will his death have now on the future of peace in Mozambique? Well, that's a very, very interesting question because um, he has been um, in hiding um, um, in the Goronzo um, Mountains for quite a while since 2013 when there were kind of like um, an, an, a, a rehash of um, um, fighting so from 2013 to 2016 when he actually called a ceasefire um, um, with the government. Um, and what there has been happening right now in the country is that people are beginning to wonder that there's now going to be a vacuum in the Renamo um, political um, party that who will, so who will um, um, take over his leadership? Are they going to be people who are very, very relaxed, more democratic, or people who actually um, possess greater anger towards the established system? Um, people are wondering what's going to happen. happen. Because um, in 2016, when they had um, the meeting um, with President Nunsi, the, what they decided was that there's going to be arrangements which has to do with disarmament and disintegration of power in um, Mo Mozambique. Because what we see right now, one of the things that they were actually um, working out for was that power will be decentralized from just um, the government appointing the regional governors to actually what's going to be happening is that people can now vote for who they're going to have as governors um, for their, so the people have their voice being heard. So it's going to be quite interesting what will happen, but we hope that the leadership that will come after him will be people who have a more liberal mindset that want to further the journey of peace that he um, started in 2016. And just very quickly, Jermaine, who do you think will take over? And you've mentioned this, this power vacuum, but what, what's your opinion after, um, about who will take over? Um, actually, no one really knows um, what is going to happen right now because the leadership and the focus has always been um, on um, um, Alfonso da Clama and um, he's been the, the spearhead. So we're going to be wondering what, which of his foot soldiers or which of his lieutenants, people um, that he has um, trained, would actually take over from him. It's going to be very dicey, um, but we do hope that people who actually have democratic um, mindsets, people who want to prefer dialogue, to um, destruction of the nation um, through um, rebel warfare um, on the streets of um, Mozambique. Um, we want people, a person who will actually stand up for the rights of the people, who will drop their okay. swords, drop their guns, and stand for peace. Okay, Jermaine, thank you so much for speaking to us on TRT World. That was Jermaine Sanwolu, an expert on African politics, speaking to us from Leeds.